Happy Thursday, Monexus. This is Alan coming to you from my beautiful office in Vancouver. Today I have some very exciting news about probial balance. So for most people, you've heard Dr. Rouse and even me talk about your HDL cholesterol and your LDL cholesterol. And when we first started talking about probial balance, we're talking about the possibility of increasing your HDL, cardioprotective cholesterol, and lowering the LDL, the cardio uh, risk cholesterol. And what makes um, an even further uh, and, and more conclusive measurement of your cardiovascular risk is something called the apolipoprotein. So in our HDL, we have apolipoprotein A. We want that to be high. In the LDL, we have apolipoprotein B, and we want that to be low. If, if you're a cardiac patient and you haven't had that risk factor measured, I would strongly encourage you to do that along with your triglycerides and your C-reactive protein. Because if we can keep our apolipoprotein ratio low in a great number and our triglycerides, our C-reactive protein, and another measurement is homocysteine, if we can keep those under control, keep them really low, the risk of stroke or heart attack goes down by up to 90%. So really important measurements here on your cardiovascular risk. So in a couple of patient experiences, we saw a, a couple of really important things. First person, low, lower LDL, but low HDL. So took probiobalance and their HDL cholesterol went up, which is great. Stopped probiobalance, HDL cholesterol went back down. So that means you need to stay on your probiobalance. The other person had high HDL and higher LDL. And so when their first measurement came in after three months, not, their HDL had gone up, but so did their LDL. So kind of an anomaly there. The doctor, instead of saying, oh, you need a statin or this, he, they doubled up on the, the probial balance. So what this recent test showed was a further increase in HDL or cardioprotective uh, cholesterol and a now a decrease in the LDL. So that person stayed on, the other person didn't. So a finer measurement for both those people would be their apolipoprotein level or risk factor. And it's a test that's easily done. It's done along with your other cholesterol tests. And like I say, uh, if you're uh, a cardiovascular patient or somebody who has cholesterol that you're trying to manage, an apolipoprotein test is really a great measurement of your risk factors. So in the patients that we've been monitoring, the patients that are at risk and we've been monitoring, we've seen a, a difference in their apolipoprotein risk factor. So even if their LDL didn't come down as much as we wanted it to, or the HDL go up as much as we wanted it to, the apolipoprotein has modulated where that inflammatory and dangerous level of our balance between apolipo A and B has now started to modulate and showing less uh, inflammatory markers. We've also seen a decrease in C-reactive protein, a decrease in triglycerides. So these are all the finer markers of cardiovascular risk. And if we can lower those risk factors, like I say, we, we, can, we know from lots of research that we can reduce your risk of a cardiovascular accident, stroke, or heart attack by up to 90%. So once again, we get our apolipoprotein uh, levels under control. If we get our triglycerides, our C-reactive protein, we can even measure homocysteine, which is more a measurement of how active B vitamins are in your blood, but it is a, also a measurement that can help in cardiovascular risk. If we keep those really in line and under control, we reduce the risk of a cardiovascular accident by a tremendous amount. So good news about probial balance that we didn't know and didn't expect is it's modulating or helping this very, very important apolipo A, B risk factor to come back into a great number. I know this is kind of scientific and, and maybe hard for people who aren't in the cardiovascular arena to understand, but those of you who are, in that cardiovascular risk area, get your apolipoprotein measured and uh, stay on your probio balance because it's going to help. Anyway, this is Alan. Have a great Thursday and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.